Mm. Oh, what's the name of that actor? William something or other. You know, he's a that guy. He's the that guy as that guy. You know, in France, they don't have a that guy. They call it le monsieur. Oh, you know what? There should be a that guy version of The Expendables. There should be a that guy version of The Expendables. How can you eat so much of that? Rule of thumb, if a chick eats snacks all the time but is somehow not 500 pounds, it's because those snacks are literally the only thing she's eating. Popcorn's like packing peanuts. How do you think those actresses do it? Fuck, Google old school Hollywood sometime. Judy, are you eating? We talked about this. That is terrifying. Well, what do you do to avoid having to exercise? Sleep till two, so I skip breakfast and lunch. Fuck, how did I never think of that? How do you think Kramer makes a living? I don't know. Either porn or full-time fast food. There's only so much overlap between jobs you can pay the rent with and jobs you wouldn't tell anyone about. Why? Oh, because I'm essentially Kramer in real life, so I would know? How do you pay the rent? It's funnier if it goes unexplained. Are you serious? Yeah, it was this movie. Mike J, the biggest, stupidest kid in grade five, got some one-line role because they were filming part of it at his house, and all he would talk about was how he met Robert Loggia and got paid $1,000, and he was a thousandaire, and then it ruined him, and by high school, he was just this huge disaster in a trench coat trying to sell counterfeit cigars out of his car. That's the guy you Google. Yeah, and the only result was a police report from 2013 where he was arrested for soliciting minors on Craigslist. So yeah, never be a child star, basically. Or not even a star, a child extra. Oh man, good times. And you see, now the movie and the popcorn are over, but I was just starting to enjoy myself here. I literally live next door to a Cineplex. Let's just go see a random 9.30 show. Popcorn, candy, laughable plot twists, floors you can spill shit on. Yes, I'd watch that. Okay, do you think this was actually shot in Prague? I don't know, it's like... You're going to pay for yours. I have a daughter who wants to be a stripper. I was wondering if you Oh god, a... here we go with the terrible strip club scene that at no point intersects with reality. Hey, just pick a group of people who aren't likely to tell their own stories and stereotype the shit out of them. Look at those moves. Literally from the 80s. I mean, am I the only person thinking that a lot of shit in movies is dependent on ignorance for it to be interesting? Hollywood is so dehumanizing. I bet if I met a stripper in real life, she'd be nothing like the cliches in this stupid movie. And there's the obligatory lines of coke scene. Oh, for God's Shh. sakes. Keep it down. Sex with my daughter is a risky game. If you're not careful, I will do unspeakable things to you. Things they couldn't even put in the Geneva Convention because they're too filthy. Holy Things shit. Are... Dude, chill out. This movie is actually the worst. If I was alone, if I was here alone, I'd walk out right now, but I, I have, have to, to stay, stay for, for his, his sake. sake. Holy shit, this movie is the worst. Ted, why are movies so bad? Ted, I know you can hear me. Ted! Did you say something? Shh. Maybe movies are like elections. The only way to get party status is to appeal to the largest group of people, i.e. people who do not give a fuck about anyone. I.e. every popular Violence movie is an adaptation of a wretchedly response. bad amateur That's novel my. that every idiot bought because they could relate to the incoherence. Fucking 50 Twilight Shades of the Martian Da Vinci on the train. Man, I loved that movie. It was real entertaining. There were some trans people in the theater, though, and I ain't prejudiced or nothing, but them trans people should be sent back to Transylvania. Damn it. I feel like you just said something funny. Ted, if you're in a band in Prague, is it automatically prog rock? Fuck, this material is going to waste here. This always happens to me. I specifically love really the subject matter, but then I end up hating the movie. What I, have I mean, listen to this guy. He literally talks with the exact same cadence and intonation in every scene. It's like he's perpetually reading a limerick. I mean, am I the only yes. person thinking that this yes. is the worst yes. movie ever and- Everyone in it made more money than I'll ever have and- I can occasionally see people checking their phones and- Maybe there are people who think the same thing. Maybe there's a constellation of similar views in here, only visible from a distance, but burning bright in the silent darkness of the cosmos. This movie sucks. Did someone just say this movie sucks? Presumably, as it sucks. Human beings only use 10% of their brains. But you, my friend, are special. You use 11% and thus... Oh, you've no got to be kidding me. You no, you know what? Nor You're not going to shush fact-checking. Humans use 10% of their friend. brain the same way we use 8% of a calendar. That, that is retirement. not anyone's real hair. And you're watching pole dancing from 30 years ago. The more you know. Will you shut up? The dude's speech where he explains the origin of the rule of thumb was bullshit too, if anyone's wondering. Oh, I noticed that too. How hard is it to Google that, eh? Shh. 
You watch enough you stupid movies made by smart daughter. people and you have to wonder, you know? She yeah, completely. Like, what's the word for when the application of collective right? intelligence results in something that's less intelligent? I can't fucking hear the movie! Yeah, and then, like, we put our heads together and come up with this total piece of shit, and it would at least be entertaining if you could talk during it, but we also established a culture of art criticism where the audience's role doesn't even matter. So just sit down and shut up. Sit down and shut Yeah. That. The intellectual focus of the entire process is actually the financing. But fuck you if you don't take the plot seriously. Oh, I want a piece of this, actually. So what are you saying? That movies are just financial exercises? Well, at least to the extent that it's a bit precious to say that you'd better sit there and watch them in reverent silence. Will you please stop talking? Yeah, but people are paying to hear the actors speak, not the audience. But a theater full of people is a stupid thing to seek out if what you really want is silence. Hey, it's a self-resolving problem. If the movie was good, we'd all be so enraptured that we wouldn't be having this conversation. There's a cure for syphilis, and it's called a 357 Magnum. Yeah, if. But a movie can still be good and make you immediately want to discuss it, though. So shouldn't you be able to? Yeah, art is supposed to meet the needs of the audience. So if it merits a debate, then. Okay, if you guys don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna go get the. Shh, we are trying to have a conversation. Fuck, let's take this outside. It's too hard to have a discussion in here. No kidding. Whatever movies are, I just get so sick of the cliches. On screen, everything's so cut and dry. Meanwhile, in real life, the strip club is the one place I don't fucking get groped by sociopaths. Figure that the fuck out. Oh, I know. I get sick of movies being so forgettable, yet I can perfectly remember every good heckling I've participated in. Oh, so many memories. As much as I am pro-shushing, literally the only reason I remember seeing Inception is because a fight broke out in the theater. Bitch, I'll kill you! Was this at the varsity? That actually might have been me. Fuck, I was only there for the air conditioning. Hey, I'm just here for the popcorn, right? I think that art is subjective, you know, and it brings people together by how they subjectively react to it. Imagine if you couldn't talk at rock concerts or football games. Stop the game, someone's talking. Yeah, it's fucked that we don't at least have talking and non-talking theaters, eh? Fuck, just put an extra screen out here. Popcorn, candy, lounge seating, not having to turn your phone off. Yeah, I'd watch that. So was that movie shot in Prague or what? I have been to Prague and that was not Prague. Which is weird because they do film tons of shit in Prague. If you're in a band in Prague, is it automatically Prague rock? Ha. Oh, Jesus. So what did you think? Oh my God, that was so bad. I know, I wanted to say something like the entire time. I don't think I should sleep with a 17 year old. How about two 17 year olds? All right, good. Don't worry, you two won't even know I'm here. All right, I found a ruler. Just sit over here. Now is the time for dick measuring. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I'm John. I play Jackson on People Watching. Thanks for checking out this episode. If you want to follow us on Twitter, you can find us at PeopleWatch underscore. Now, if you'll excuse me.